जी आई नोवा पॉडकास्ट एपिसोड मेरा नाम इतन है मेरा कोहोस्त का नाम डॉक्टर जसप्रीत है सत श्रीकाल सो वेलकम बैक एवरी वन दिस इज आर नाइन्थ एपिसोड वर्ग इन गेट राइट इन टू द कॉम्प्रहेंसिबल इन फुट वी आर एक्सपेरिमेंटिंग विद अ फ्यू डिफरेंट मेथड सो बी प्रिपेयर टू सी सम रेडिकल चेंजेस ओवर द नेक्स्ट कपल एपिसोड एंड मे बी इवन दिस एपिसोड आई नॉट वन वॉन्ट स्पॉल इट एंड विद ऑल दैट Let's get started. Okay, thank you Ethan. So today's episode is about the game of chess as you can see. So I will go ahead and um speak and I will speak uninterruptedly and then we will get the reaction from Ethan. I'll try not to interrupt. Okay, thank you. Um Ethan ek hi hai. Eh chess hai. Chess nu Punjabi vich शतरंज कहते हैं चैस भारत इंडिया विच शुरू हुई अज तो पंद्रह सौ साल पहला चैस का पुराना नाम चतुरंगा है शतरंज भारत तो परशिया फिर स्पेन ते इटली पहुंच गई ईथन की ती चैस खेडते हो हाँ जी मैनू चैस एक बहुत वजिया खेड लगती है मैनू चैस दिमागी खेड लगती है वर अबाउट हाफ वे थ्रू चैस की खेड एक वजिया तो मनपसंद खेड है चैस के कई वे ग्रैंड मैसटर होए ने अजक दुनिया का चैंपियन मैगनस कार्लसन है मैगनस कार्लसन नॉर्वे तो है चैस में औरतों की चैंपियन वैलेंटीना गुनीना है वैलेंटीना रूसी खिडारी है मैगनस की उम्र तेरह साल से जो ओ ग्रैंड मैसटर बनया मैनू चैस बहुत दिलचस्प खेड लगती है आई वॉन्ट टू से दिस लाइन अगेन आई रियली लाइक दैट वन वर्ड दिलचस्प ओके मैनू चैस बहुत दिलचस्प खेड लगती है दोस्तों कि ती चैस खेड हो मैनू सोच के दस्यो खत्म हाँ जी सो रिएक्शन इतन अगेन इट वॉज अ लिटल फैसट फॉर मे ओके करेक्शन आई फेल्ट दैट इट वॉज अ लिटल फैसट ओके फॉर माई लवल बिकॉज देर आर लॉट ऑफ वर्ड्स दैट आई didn't quite that i had to think a little bit about to understand in the context of the sentence mm-hmm. and a lot of uh, punjabi it isn't very complex mm-hmm. but the entire sentence tends to rely on one verb assuming that you get the idea of what the noun and object is mm-hmm. so because it takes me a little bit of time to process the verb i wasn't able to immediately understand a lot of those sentences um So yeah those are my I thoughts. think that's that's very good so I'm my suggestion is let's let's read it one more time and then maybe you can just figure out that keyword that holds the meaning that might help the viewers too and even for yourself so uh, obviously the very first was easy ethan akie and you know um chesnu punjabi vich shatranj kende han how was this line चैस नंजाबी विच शतरंज कहते हैं ओह यूर टॉकिंग अबाउट द ओरिजिनल नेम ऑफ चैस और वो चैस इज कॉल्ड इन पंजाबी हाँ जी चैस भारत इंडिया विच शुरू हुई चैस स्टार्टेड इन इंडिया सो द की वर्ड रियली इज शुरू विच इज स्टार्ट स्टार्ट ऑफ समथिंग चैस का पुराना नाम चतुरंगा है और सी 
do. Can you say it again? Chess da Purana naam Chaturanga hai. Purana, that's old. That's yeah. the old name. Yeah. Is, uh, Chaturanga. Chaturanga. Yeah. And uh, Shatranj Parat to Persia, fir Spain te Italy tak pahunch gai. Can you repeat it again? Chess, uh, Shatranj Parat to Persia, fir Spain te Italy tak pahunch gai. Tak pahunch gai. Punch the matlab kia? So again, comprehensible input. Did you notice there's a bunch of countries I named here? Chess Parat. Parat is the name of India, the original name of India. So Parat to Persia. Persia is a, a old name of Iran, right? So to it went from India to Iran, fair Spain to Italy, then Spain and Italy, tak pahunch gai. Does that make sense? Mm. That's fine. It, it reached. Punch so, punch is to reach. So, we're just uh, sort of charting the trajectory of uh, oh. chess. Because chess is very popular in Europe, um, you know, but it started in India. And that's uh, the origin of chess. Okay. And I missed one line here, which I said, Aaj to pandra saw saal pehla. That's a bit of a tough line, but... Can you repeat it? Aaj to pandra so saal pehla. Pandra so saal. Mm-hmm. Sol saal. Saal is, um, I'll just tell you, aaj to, aaj is today. So we're talking. No, but just tell me what the sol saal means. Saal is year, like nama saal. Well, I know that, but why? Pandra so is 1500. Oh. It's counting, yeah. Pandra so. so Pandra is 15 and saw so means 100. Okay. So it's literally like 1500 yeah, is Pandra Yeah, because makes sense. Yeah. I just, Pandra, it, I knew chess wasn't 15 okay. years old. Yeah. Pandra so, okay. Yeah, so that was when it started in India. And then um, I think this one was uh, kind of intuitive. Ethan, ki tusi chess kid deo? Yeah. Yeah, and menu Good. chess ik vadia kid lag diye. Chess and huh? Menu chess ik vadia kheed lag di hai. Yeah, chess is a good game. And menu chess dimagi kheed lag di hai. Why are you using menu? Menu, I'm just talking about myself too. Like, um, yeah, but you're saying menu chess. Like, menu is like, I feel chess uh, is a brainy game. Oh, I got it. Because you said lagdi. Yeah, okay. because menu lagdi is kind of, <laughs> you're right, menu lagdi will go together. Yeah. So it's like menu pukh lagdi. Hai. Mm-hmm. I'm feeling hunger. So menu chess dimagi khed lagdi. Hai. It's the sentence structure of Punjabi. It flows like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then we talked about the grandmasters of chess. Um, I said chess de kai vade grand master hoye ne. Um, Ajkal dunia da champion Magnus Carlsen hai. Was that? Yeah, it's right? straightforward. And then I talked about the women's champion Valentina Gunina. Um, how about this line? Magnus the Umar tera saal si jado o grand master banaya. So Magnus is Umar. Wait. Umar is no, don't don't translate it. Just can you repeat Magnus it? Magnus the Umar, tera saal si, Anji. jado o grandmaster bane. Yeah, you just said his age and that he's he was master. thirteen. Yeah, when he became grandmaster, so he was a oh, child okay. prodigy, Magnus Carlson. Yes, he actually beat um, Anand. Uh, I believe it was Anand Vishwanathan who was the champion when I was your age. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was only 13, this uh, Magnus Carlsen. So he's now like, uh, I think he's like the seven-time elite world champion. Oh, wow. Yes. So, uh, and the last line, my favorite. Uh, menu uh, chess bohot dilchasp khed lag diye. Menu chess bohot ki? Dilchasp khed lag diye. Dilchasp. Ki matlab? W- do you want to guess the meaning? Kia? I mean, there's not a lot of context. Like, Menu I'm... New chess. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about how I feel about chess, right? Well, right, but... 
What's the word again? Dil chasp. Dil chasp. Your something about your heart. Yes, very yeah. good. So dil means heart, and dil. Ch- I don't know the meaning of chasp, but dil chasp means interesting. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, one, that's the only reason I knew that. By the way, is because I knew dil is <laughs> heart because huh? you're always talking about <laughs> your your dil. You want to say that what I say when we go yeah. shopping? What do I say? <laughs> yeah, when I order something expensive, she says, "Edda vada bill, I made a bill." Because the, the bill is very expensive. That is very true, you know. Um, and these are just songs in Punjabi and where we express our feelings, you know. Edda vada bill, hi mera dil. Bill is like you know the shopping bill. So um, anyway, and then the last lines were pretty simple. I thought, "Dosto." ਕੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਚੈਸ ਖੇਡਦੇ ਹੋ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਸੋਚ ਕੇ ਦੱਸਿਓ ਵਾਟ ਯੂ ਥਿੰਕ ਇਤਨ ਵੈਲ ਥੈਟਸ ਸੋ ਯੂ ਆਸਕ ਯੂ ਸੈਡ ਵਾਟ ਵਾਟ ਡੂ ਯੂ ਥਿੰਕ ਯਾ ਸੋ ਇਟਸ ਰੀਲੀ ਆਮ ਆਸਕਿੰਗ ਦੀ ਆਡੀਅנס ਯੂ ਨੋ ਡੂ ਯੂ ਪਲੇ ਚੈਸ ਐਂਡ ਵਾਟ ਡੂ ਯੂ ਥਿੰਕ ਸੋ ਸੋ ਯਾ ਥੀਸ ਆਰ ਆਲ ਯੂਰ ਯੈਸ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ ਆਮ ਡਨ ਵਿਦ ਚੈਸ ਐਂਡ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ ਯੂ ਯੂ ਡਿਡ ਪ੍ਰੀਟੀ ਗੁੱਡ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਯਾ ਆਮ ਆਮ ਸਟਿਲ ਅ ਲਿਟਲ ਕਨਫਲਿਕਟਿਡ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ I know this isn't enough comprehensible input to really make much progress and mm-hmm. I am aware of course that we shouldn't be directly translating which is a creative block that we've had mm-hmm. is just how do we make comprehensible input approachable for people who don't have any exposure exposure to Punjabi and to those who also are more I have some exposure like me are but are still in the beginner stage mm-hmm. because there's a lot of new words flying at you at least that's how I feel is a lot of words and it's frustrating to forget words that you know you've heard before so that's something that we're working on right now which mm-hmm. is why I mentioned at the beginning of the video be prepared for some <laughs> radical changes because mm-hmm. we're experimenting this is something that especially for punjabi has never been done before so um and there aren't too many other resources for other languages in comprehensible input either and that's what we're seeking to do create the most optimal resource so that i and also anyone else can learn punjabi agreed so yeah that's what we'll be working on that's what you will be experiencing and uh yeah hope you'll be along for the rest of the journey and i want to add just one thing um that you know in the tr- traditional style of learning you start with the alphabet grammar but the key words that we use today uh like purana pahunch um you know shuru um you know let us know if you think that these words are important as vocab words like you were saying you know it's frustrating that you you've heard these words so maybe there is a point in having a small selection of keywords well i mean my my problem with that is though i don't want to have my punjabi mm-hmm. translating to english mm-hmm. like whenever i have a conversation i want to be fluent meaning i want to be thinking in that language not having to bat, like retrace my steps to what does this mean in english you know because I mean? then i'm mm-hmm. not truly i'm not actually fluent i'm not learning that language i'm just learning in, at least in my brain it's just another way of speaking english these are all substitute words for my english words so it's like plugging it into google translator except instead of using my phone it's in my head mm. do you understand what i mean i do and so i was just thinking while you were talking how about then instead of um, uh, no translation but like we said purana naam chesta purana naam uh, you know chatur uh, chaturanga hai so purana naam old name you know like isn't that more like with comprehensible input and uh, what do you mean I like instead of using the exact translation of purana we're saying purana naam like the old name does that help or not really uh i mean anything that adds context of course helps the big question is just about how do we add the most context practically okay because i remember i i mentioned uh adding pictures or like drawing pictures mm-hmm. anything like that The only problem with that is it's not as practical. Like we have the chess set here, mm-hmm. but it's not you can't do that for every word, you know what I mean? Like it, yeah. it works for the topic, but I still think that adding some vocab words will help. 
because um, I feel like we need a multifactorial approach. Well, so course, that's just as we are going through this creative process. That's my uh, understanding so I far. Think there are some things that we know don't work. Mm -hmm. And just because they're popular doesn't mean that we should start using them. No, not, I'm not looking at it that way. Well, I, I understand that. But that pressure is still there mm -hmm. because when everyone is doing something a certain way, without realizing it, you're also going to feel inclined to do it that way. I think, no, the reason I said that, because, uh, you know, you're not in a in an area where you're getting, uh, you're not in Punjab or you're not in a place where people are talking in Punjabi to you all the time. So you have limited input. So how to overcome that? Right. So that that's why I question. said it. Yeah. And I think there there is a way um, and we will figure it out for sure. <laughs> yeah. So anyway. Thank you for sticking along all the way to the end. If you have any ideas, any suggestions, mm -hmm. we are all ears. We would very, very, very much appreciate it. But uh, until then, until the next episode, mm -hmm. we'll be here practicing Punjabi. Hopefully you're practicing your Punjabi. <laughs> and we'll see you in episode 10. Rabraka. Rabraka. <laughs>